Apple, 1963, when I was a teen. It took federal marshals to escort two black students into the University of Alabama. I, I understand that, Hambo, but I'm saying since the 60s. I mean, I, I don't know of anyone that feels that we're united. Don't you think the country right now, we have been, the country hasn't been divided like this since the 60s, Hammer? Let me respond. Okay, now you're wrong. Uh, during the 60s, again, uh, another uh, fact, not an opinion, the 24th Amendment was eliminated. That was uh, against poll taxes for federal elections because of blatant discrimination against black Americans. And now the Beyonce video, first of all, 99% of the people who saw that didn't know that she had a statement. My total was- total insult. We'll come back. We'll take more of your phone calls. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. We also have some sound. What do you hear? Reverend Al Sharpton. That's who Bernie Sanders went to. We'll play you some of that. And a lot more news. Again, 1-855-400-7282. Our website is michaelsavage.com. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're listening to the Savage Nation. First, we are quite literally discovering more about Zika every single day. Right now, the most important thing for Americans to know is this. If you're pregnant, we recommend you not go to a place where Zika is spreading. And if you're pregnant and you live in an area where Zika is spreading, do everything you can to protect yourself against mosquito bites. That is the head of the CDC as this story continues to get more frightening. And now we're we're seeing Texas confirms more Zika virus. Number of cases climbed to 13 This is John DiPietro. You're listening to the Savage Nation. Dr. Michael Savage will be back tomorrow, but in the meantime, we'll take your phone calls at 1-855-400-SAVAGE. Line 9 is Larry listening on WJR in Detroit. Larry, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hello, John. This is Larry, first-time caller. Oh, great. Welcome, Larry. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Yeah, he's a a complete failure uh, in in every category, But, but the thing is, I agree with Rubio. It's intentional. And um, I think as far as Trump goes, I think when everybody brought in that new Congress and they failed to do anything, I think this is Trump as a result of that. And, um, you know, I hope he gets elected. I hope he's our next president. And uh, I think to to resolve any of this, they're going to have to start with the education uh, in the schools, uh, the the instructors, professors, teachers, whatever. You know, they come out of there hating this country, and that's the problem. Yeah, none of them know anything about history. Right. You know? And you know what else, Larry, is just the the mentality of, as they say, the millennials of. Th- there's a lot expected getting out and if someone keeps telling people you know telling someone that you don't have to pay back your college debt and and that's not your fault and you should expect this Larry don't don't you think that that's adding to this entitlement atmosphere and attitude that we have amongst a lot of the college students coming out of school it's almost like we're going to have to start all over again but uh, some of your callers that that support socialism i don't know if they've ever watched the history channel but you know that's where i get a lot of my information on mao stalin and all these people uh you know it's like they they leave the breadcrumbs and lure you right into the cage and once you're in there good luck that's exactly right larry thank you again you're listening to the savage nation log on to our website michaelsavage.com This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. This is The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE 855-400-7282 Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. 
You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro filling in for Dr. Michael Savage. Never fear. The Dr. Michael will be back tomorrow. In the meantime, you're welcome to call into the program. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Check out the website, michaelsavage.com. Latest headlines. Also subscribe to the Savage newsletter. You can also order right now Dr. Savage's new ebook, and the timing is just incredible. Diseases without borders. When you think of what is going on right now and what's happening with the Zika virus, have you heard the latest now? It has now reached 20 states. I'm seeing first case now, first was in Alabama. The Zika virus has now spread to 20 U.S. states. Four of the people being tested. Fifth results came back negative. Plus, it's in Washington, D.C. So 20 states plus District of Columbia. 59 cases reported in the United States. And all were infected abroad. Should we be quarantining people coming back from countries that have this outbreak? Right now, think how serious this is. Two U.S. women, apparently, reporting miscarriages with the Zika virus. So you can read about it and also order Dr. Savage's book, Diseases Without Borders. It's all at the website at michaelsavage.com. In addition, read the latest headlines, whether it be the former Obama defense intel chief says Hillary should step down, or Dr. Savage saying quarantine all travelers from Zika-infested nations. And then you can also read the latest terrible story, a Iran broadcasting image of the U.S. sailors in tears. If that's not propaganda, read about all of it at michaelsavage.com. And then as far as social media, follow Michael Savage. Like the Facebook page. Find him on Facebook. It's Michael Savage. And then click the like button, and you can get all the latest. And then also follow the program on Twitter. It's A Savage Nation on Twitter. Well, as you know, we'll continue to take your phone calls. The latest on the presidential race. I'm going to also talk a little bit about Donald Trump just continues his dominance and more and more starting to become almost, they're describing it as inevitable, the Trump final candidacy and the run for the White House. But what do you make of, what do you think of Bernie Sanders? He wins New Hampshire. He immediately gets to New York wants and schedules breakfast with Reverend Al Sharpton. Is this, would you ever go to Sharpton to try to get an endorsement? Let's hear, this is from MSNBC, Reverend Al Sharpton telling the media and really telling the Clinton campaign, hey, listen, don't take the black vote for granted. The vote is earned. And, and that there is no presumed uh, a holder of the vote. Because we have serious problems. Whoever wins this election, Republican or Democrat, this will be the first time in American history we will see a white succeed a black president. Civil rights leaders have responsibility to press them on the issues before we get into who we like or who we've known. And that's what we've got to do, make them earn the vote. You know, I hadn't thought of it that way. It'd be the first time a white is going to succeed a a black president. I mean, I guess that was inevitable. But uh, 1-855-400-SAVAGE. How about Hillary's campaign just continues, I mean, to be taking on water. Every time they're looking at a poll, she's going down. She's going down in all demographics. She's going down with young women. She's going down with people that she thought were her base. People are upset. People are angry. And she is going to face off tonight against Bernie Sanders. We'll touch on the Republican side as we uh, go along on the Savage Nation. But let's get back to some of your phone calls, such as let's go to line seven. Brad is listening on WMAL in our nation's capital. Brad, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Brad. Hey, John. First time caller. Uh, A lot of previous callers and, and, and you have been discussing Obama and the Obama presidency and his impact, and I'd I'd like to posit that as damaging as he's been, he's a symptom of a broader issue. And the broader issue is 
the more free for me majority, whether it is the special interests, social or financial, preserving special privileges, or the fact that the net receivers in our society, uh, people that don't pay taxes but get tax rebates, now outweigh the net contributors. And, and I would submit to you that, you know, members of the Savage Nation, uh, constitutional Republicans, libertarians, are a minority in their own society because we're victims of a decades-long insurgency that has infiltrated our schools, our educational system, our financial system. And if you want to defeat uh, from a subordinate position, which we are now in as a, as a minority, you have to learn to think like an insurgent. You have to build your networks. You have to reach out to your kids, to your friends, and say, look, I know you're not in the mood to be educated, but let's have an honest discussion about factual things and not these shiny bells and whistles that so many of the candidates want to wave in front of us. And that's why I think these outsider candidates are doing so well. And my final concern, you know, that we need to look at, uh, unless I misread or, or things changed after uh, the New Hampshire primary, which is only a microcosm, Bernie Sanders didn't just get more votes than Hillary Clinton. He got more votes than any other candidate. And that's of a pretty significant concern to me. Well, at the same time, Brad, thank you for the call. You, you have to be hardened by the fact that when you add up all the conservatives, candidates, and how they did in Iowa, and just when you put that together, it's it's overwhelming. So I, I I would I would feel very good about the state right now uh, as far as conservatives in the landscape. But if you're listening right now, don't you think a big part of the problem right now with young people with millennials? I mean, I, I have a son in college, and and but don't you find the that uh, and maybe you have an example for us, and you could call up even if you've never called a, a radio talk show before, but. Don't you find there there is a sense of entitlement with young people, and I think I think a, a Bernie Sanders with with his you know being an admitted socialist in in what they they try to convey. Think of what it was convey to young people of of what the country owes them, what the world owes them, what they are quote entitled to, the sense of entitlement. Now, when you get out of school, I mean what. What were you entitled to? The, the the phrase hard work seems to be missing from the landscape. Or what about your parents or grandparents? I Don't you think they, there's certainly a greater sense of entitlement? And I think a big part of that has to do with the past eight years and, and, and how some people are just lost. But I'd love to hear if you, you have a story. If you're an employer and you interview young people coming out of school. Um, I've spoken with business people, and they describe, I mean, it's kind of comical, but almost like a delusional self-image of themselves and what they're entitled to or how much they should earn or how much authority they should have, uh, you know, in, in trying to climb the, the ladder in a company, no matter how big or how small. What do you think? One eight five five. 400 Savage. I think a Bernie Sanders, you know, flaming that, right? Telling them, you're entitled. You shouldn't have to pay back those loans. You shouldn't have to pay for health care. You shouldn't. I mean, there just seems to be this resonating message for young people. I think it's very dangerous to young people. I don't think it serves them. I don't think it serves them well at all. What do you think? Let's go out to line four. Sal is listening to the Savage Nation on WVFT in Florida. Sal, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Sal. Yes, hi, John. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, anyway, a couple of thoughts. First of all, on the the, uh, the talk about entitlements and young kids today. Uh, you know, first of all, I, I, I married late in life. My wife has two boys. Uh, she's a stout, stout, staunch conservative, but yet her boys don't know anything about what it means to earn, you know, earn a living. Uh, they've both been handed things in their life. 
and they both believe that it's because their father worked hard that they should have the opportunities that he had, and everything's been handed to them. So they have no 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 concept of a dollar, you know. I mean, to, to them, when they get their change, they throw it on the ground like it doesn't mean anything. So <laughs> it starts with the parents. The parents are the ones that have to instill these belief belief in their kids. 